Hey Capricorn, welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot. Or again, welcome back if you're returning. Thank you so much if you are. I really appreciate you guys. My Cappy crew, you're amazing. Hey, if you guys are new, I also appreciate you. Thank you very much for stopping by. Hope the reading resonates. If it does, please hit the thumbs up. Please leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. If it doesn't resonate, check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs. You're almost certain to find something there that does. Also, if it does resonate uh, and you want to book a private reading, you can find my email address in the description box below the video. There you can also find the link to my Patreon page where I will be uploading an extended version of this reading as well as the other 11 Zodiacs. You can get access to all 12 of the Zodiac extended readings on Patreon for only $3.33. Just saying. All right. But, you know, if you don't, you don't. If you do, you do. I appreciate you either way. Uh, you can also find in the description box the link to my Instagram and Twitter accounts. They're new, but uh, the Instagram, uh, I do intend to start doing pick a card readings on there. I'm not doing them yet. I'm planning all that right now, but I will be doing it in the future. So you might want to follow me over there. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? <clears throat> well, if you're new, you'll notice that I use my pendulum to determine the direction of the cards. And I'll just take the reversals as they come out. Okay, and other than that, I hope you guys are doing all right out there during this lockdown, staying safe and healthy. Um, I've been shuffling your energy in here for a good 15 minutes into all my mini decks here. Um, and uh, we're ready to go. So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Capricorn for the month of May 2020. Keep in mind it is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every single Capricorn out there. <clears throat> You'll know if it's your reading. It'll resonate one way or the other. You won't have to force it. If you're finding yourself having to force it, check out your other signs. All right. Um, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, we're looking for Capricorn energies. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, I generally focus on love. But if it resonates for another relationship, that's perfectly fine. You just take it how it, how it does resonate, okay? <clears throat> but I am generally focusing on love. All right. So this is for you and a person of interest for May 2020 spirit. What's going on with Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Capricorn for May Okay, Spirit, are the top eight cards the correct cards for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 2020? And is the card at the bottom of the deck the overall energy? Thank you so much. I so appreciate you. All right, let's see what we got, Capricorn. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, Daddy, the Emperor. Let's see. Upright or reverse, Spirit, the Emperor. Yeah, somebody is taking charge. The Emperor is is daddy he does take charge he knows what to do and he ain't afraid to do it he closes the deal so it looks like somebody might be closing the deal this month capricorn all right let's put him here <clears throat> how do you feel about your person capricorn we have the six of cups you feel like they're your soulmate you miss them you probably have a past with this person you might have grown up with them or you just are from the same area and they feel like home to you but you definitely miss them you're thinking about reminiscing about the good times you shared and you very likely have shared a past life with this person and yeah soulmate energy okay how they see you capricorn the five of pentacles hmm actually i didn't check this six of cups spirit upright or reversed yeah five of pentacles upright or reversed all right so they see you and either 
They want to come in out of the cold. Maybe you put them in the freezer, Capricorn, or they see that you want to come in from out of the cold. Maybe you're warming up to them again. Maybe you had them in the freezer and you're starting to warm up and you're thinking about letting them back in. Could be. And let's see, how do they feel about you? Ooh, the Knight of Pentacles. So it's slow, but they're a little bit cautious. I feel like they are feeling kind of cautious with their feelings, but I feel like they do want to make an offer. They want to, but they, you know, want to take it slow. They're feeling very nervous and cautious. The Knight of Pentacles just, you know, he is awesome. He really is. When he, Whenever he gets around to getting to you, he brings the goods. He's solid and stable, but he just takes a long time to, to get around to doing it. It's slow moving energy. Okay, and so hopefully you have the patience to wait for that because that, that night really does seem like he takes forever. But again, if you do have the patience, it's worth the wait. He's worth the wait. Okay, so maybe I will change from calling him sloth to worth the wait because he is, okay, or she. Anything I say, remember, it's not gender, it's energy. So, it, you know, it could be, go either way. And also time is fluid. So although I'm reading for May, if this resonates in 10 years, it could be your story then. It could be what happened this month. It could be after May. But I am focusing on May. And for most of you, I feel like it will be sometime in May. All right. So in the past, what happened, Gap? The Two of Pentacles. Okay, let's see. I forgot to ask about the Knight, the Knight of Pentacles. If I forget to ask, it's usually because I just know intuitively it's supposed to be upright. All right. Or the other way. All right, Spirit, the Two of Pentacles, upright or reversed. All right, so there was, I feel like there might have been some juggling. Some of you, there could have been an extra party. I'm not, like, there's not a lot of energy here that I'm seeing that. I'm just saying, this is the juggler. Okay, so there could have been some juggling energy. It doesn't even have to be with another person. It could be somebody trying to juggle their career in their personal life. But there was just, there was a busy energy in the past, and it was rocky and unstable, and probably this energy is not able to be sustained for very long. Usually something ends up getting dropped. Okay. So that's what happened. Maybe you dropped them. They dropped you. Or just it fell apart. You know. What's going on now? What's the current energy? Ooh. The Queen of Wands. Let's see. Spirit. Upright or reverse. The Queen of Wands. Ooh. Nice. This is... Uh, this is mutual energy, so you're both starting to feel a little more confident. So even though there's caution and whatever, you're both starting to feel a little bit more confident here about this connection. Uh, you're both feeling real sexy. You're very attracted to each other with this card, okay? Um, and I feel like somebody's wanting to take action. Somebody may be trying to manifest the other, or both of you are trying to manifest each other, because this Queen of Wands is a manifester. She's no stranger to magic either, I'll tell you that. She's definitely the witch of the deck. Doesn't have to be, but she's the manifester. She knows how to get shit done, whatever way she does it. Um, but this is typically card of Aries. Doesn't have to be. It could be any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, by the way, the emperor is also Aries, okay? So some of you could definitely be dealing with some Aries energy. All right, what are they most likely to do, Capricorn? What energy are they bringing your way this month? Ooh, temperance. Sagittarius energy. This is a card of forgiveness and healing and patience also. Reconciliation, spirit upright or reverse, temperance. Yeah, so you could be dealing with Sagittarius, okay? But yeah, it's uh, healing. They want to balance. It's also about balance. They want to rebalance this connection, heal it. They want forgiveness or they want, you know, to uh, forgive you if if you're the one who needs forgiving. But they just, they want to heal this. All right. What advice does Spirit have for you, Capricorn, in dealing with this person? The Page of Pentacles. Maybe you should reach out. Um, let's see if this is upright or reversed. Hold on. Spirit, upright or reversed. The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I figured. So, I mean... <clears throat> This is communication. Pages are communication. This could also be, um, you know, they might ask you out. Maybe you're being advised to take it, take them up on their offer, okay? Because this can be a small gift or, you know, an invitation out for somewhere, although I don't know where you're going on lockdown. But, you know, this is for May. Hopefully the lockdown will come off sometime in May. All right. So, um, yeah, I feel like Spirit's saying, yeah, communicate with this person and, um slow and all this is also slow pentacles are slow energy so take it slow i'm hearing as well okay 
let's see what is your outcome okay this is preliminary we will get clarifiers the three of wands this was the bottom of the deck the whole time i was shuffling pretty much all three of my tarot decks here this stayed at the bottom the three of wands so this could be more waiting unfortunately capricorn this could be missing each other this could be planning for the future though it could, it's expansion also it doesn't have to be waiting but it is one of the common waiting cards but the good thing about this one is you're definitely not waiting in vain whatever you're waiting for is coming the ships are right there you can see them they're there it's coming but there may be some waiting. I don't think you'll be waiting all of May, but maybe in the beginning because, you know, of what we still have going on, there might be distance between you guys. Maybe you're going to enter into a long distance uh, type thing because this can indicate distance, okay? So let's go ahead and get clarifiers and see where this is taking us. All right, Spirit, please clarify these cards in the order that they are laid out for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two by two, Spirit. Give us two cards on each position, please, for clarification for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And then I'll take two cards at the bottom of the deck after I cut for overall energy. Capricorn. The Capricorn Collective. What's going on in May? Please clarify these cards. Two by two. fortune wanted to come out and show me that uh there may be some divine timing taking over here or the universe might be stepping in i think things are going to be looking up turning up in your favor capricorn hearing luck is on your side okay with that wheel of fortune there all right let's see spirit up i'm sorry not upright or wrist are the top 16 cards the correct cards to accurately clarify the ones that are already laid out for capricorn sun moon rising and venus for may 2020 and is are the two cards at the bottom of the deck the overall energy thank you so much appreciate you all right, I'm going to pause for a second. I got to put another light on. It's a little dark. All right, we're back. I just opened the blinds. All right, Capricorn, let's see what we got here. Bottom of the deck, we have strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. Ooh, and the devil. There's your card, our card. I'm a Capricorn too, remember? All right, let's see. Spirit, upright or reverse strength. Upright or reverse the devil. All right, so there is going to be still, I think, uh, somebody may be trying to come up with the courage. I mean, we do have the emperor here who takes charge, but maybe this person or you have to uh, take a little, take a minute, right, to uh, gather up the courage, okay, to whatever needs to go down between you guys. Maybe a conversation needs to be had and somebody needs to build up their courage to have that. And in the meantime, there may be some holding back, but I do feel like the toxicity will be releasing there is uh, a shadow that's been over this connection, I feel, and it is about to lift. Very good. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. How do you feel about them? On top of that six of cups, you're missing them. You feel like you guys are soulmates. You are. With that devil card and temperance and the six of cups, I'm feeling it. We have the Seven of Swords. Taurus had this in their feelings for their person, too. Maybe you feel like this person got away from you or they're hiding something. Uh, you might They might have been a little deceptive. Um, for some of you, I guess it could be lying and cheating or whatever, but I'm not necessarily sensing that. I feel like this is also someone, um, this card can be when you're head and heart and on the same page, someone runs from their feelings. That's uh, very commonly indicated by this card, so... 
you miss them, but uh, they're still kind of running. You feel like they're running from you or running from their feelings. Okay. Or like I said, they're, you're, you're sensing some sort of deception. Okay. Let's see what else. The star. Is it written in the stars, Capricorn? <laughs> is it? The star. You feel this is faded. Again, with that six of cups, you definitely feel like this is a faded relationship. You still have hope. You're really hoping for this uh, connection to pick back up, for it to move, to go somewhere. Okay? And uh, you're, you're really wishing. You're wishing for them as well, I feel. This person somehow fulfills a wish for you. Let's see. Spirit, upright or reverse the seven of swords. And the star. That's what I figured. Yeah. This might be a spiritual connection to you. Feel some sort of spiritual connection. And if you're soulmates, it's you probably do. You you know it. You feel it in your soul, you know. Alright, so how are they seeing you? They want to come out of the cold, or they see that you want to let them in, or you want to come back in from the cold. There's you they see you as warming up, I think. Ooh, the Ten of Cups. Hmm. Um, hang on. <gasps> Ooh, there's no better way to be seen. There's no better way to be seen by um, a person that you want, that you want, Capricorn. Upright or reverse the Ten of Cups. And the Empress. <clears throat> Might I just say that we have the Emperor and the Empress in the same reading, which is the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Uh, so yeah, you, it is written in the stars, Capricorn. If you were thinking it was, it is. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's a faded connection. You guys are soulmates and the highest level of the highest level with this, uh, emperor and empress. Taurus also got this. So some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. They both, they had, um, the emperor and the empress as well, but they see you as the freaking empress. That's the be all end all baby. That is like, you have many suitors male or female you get a lot of attention you are the epitome of beauty or if you're male you are just freaking hella handsome okay um you just have such an amazing energy about you like everything you touch turns green it all comes to life because you're just that freaking awesome okay they see growth potential with you they if you guys are of childbearing age they may want you to be the mother of their children or they want to mother be the mother of your children could be okay uh they see you as the potential for this this epitome of emotional happiness this is just pure emotional bliss the ten of cups and I think that they see you warming up and they want to come in from out of the cold and uh, they see that this could possibly be your future. And wow, I'm, I'm just like, wow. <laughs> they see you as the empress and the emperor is in the overall energy and that he's getting ready to take charge. So yeah, that's beautiful. I love it. How do they feel? Like we need to know because look, they think you're the empress and they think that you're, you know, the, their future happiness, right? They feel... The Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. All right. Upright or Reverse Spirit, the Eight of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords. Okay. So I feel like... Uh, I feel like they want it to work out. Okay. They definitely want to put work into this connection. Okay. I feel like they also know that it is, this is a connection I think is going to take some work. Okay. And they see that and they do want it to work out, but I think that they have something to say. So they need to get something off their chest first Capricorn. Okay. Um, or you do, and they know that, but they definitely want it to work out and they're hoping that it will. And they know that it's going to take work, but I think that somebody has something important to say. I'm not sensing this is like a harsh energy, like, you know, they're going to tell you off or anything, or you're going to tell them off, but I feel like something needs to get off somebody's chest first. And uh, they want to rush in also. I feel like they want to rush in and tell you so that you guys can move on to, you know, the good, to, to move on to putting work into this so you can work it out. Okay. That's what I'm feeling here. Keep in mind, in the extended reading, I will be getting more on their feelings and what they're going to do, more advice, and of course, more on the outcome if you want more. All right, in the past, what happened? There were some jugglings. Maybe somebody got dropped. Justice, karma, okay? 
That's uh, Libra energy. You could be dealing with Libra and the moon, okay? You could be dealing with Pisces or Cancer. I know a lot of Capricorns are dealing with Cancers right now. I have a lot of people that come to me for private readings that are Capricorns, and so many of them are dealing with Cancers. All right, upright or reverse spirit, justice. The moon. Yeah, there was an imbalance, Capricorn, in the past. There was definitely uh, an imbalance maybe of the energy that was being put in here into the connection. There was just something was just not fair, okay? And I also feel, and somebody might have made a decision, but I really am feeling more that it was, it, it was an imbalance and I sense heavy karma here. Uh, there was a, a need for it, a, a reason for it. I don't like to say need, and but for everything, you know, has a reason. And this justice card is definitely karmic. Uh, in nature, but yeah, there was an imbalance and I feel like somebody might have been keeping some secrets or was just really, really quiet. This is Pisces energy. Okay. And Pisces is also the high priestess. It's silence. Somebody was not opening up. Could have been some fears. Also, the moon is very much about fear. Somebody's fear could have absolutely gotten in the way of this connection. Um, and there was a uh, confusion and, uh, maybe some deception. I mean, you have over here, how you feel this, uh, this seven of swords, which can indicate deception. Again, it can only, it could just be deception, meaning the person did not, did not reveal their true feelings. It can be as simple as that. It does not have to be lying, cheating, or ste stealing. Okay. So, yeah. All right. What's going on now in the current energy? The queen of wands. Hello. Oh, the six of cups. Yeah. You guys are missing the hell out of each other. And the hermit. Hermit mode. Thinking a lot. All right. Spirit upright or reverse the six of cups. The Hermit. Keep in mind, I'm saying now, but this is for me. All right. So, yeah, I feel like you guys are hot and bothered almost. I just heard hot and bothered with this Queen of Wands. I don't usually get that, but there's so much sexual energy in the Queen of Wands, okay? And uh, it's just, I feel like you guys are, are really thinking about each other, right? Uh, trying to think about how you can do this, how you can make this work, trying to manifest each other. You miss each other like crazy, okay, with this uh, Six of Cups. You're definitely both reminiscing, uh, you know, thinking nostalgically, you know, and uh, you're in hermit mode. There's not a whole lot of communication going on right now. Um, I'm not saying that you're not talking at all, but it's probably very sporadic and, uh, you know, not like every day, probably not, and it's... Um, probably not all that high quality. It's just like you guys are still kind of taking a minute and uh, really, really thinking and soul searching, which by the way, this says Virgo energy. And just uh, so some of you could be dealing with Virgo or have Virgo in your chart or they could, but the hermit searches for the star, the star that's in that lantern, which is the answer, which is the, what, you know, what's going to make him happy and whatever. And looks like the star is right here, up here in your feelings. Um, Capricorn. So yeah, you have the, I love when the hermit and the star are in the same reading that excites me. It doesn't take a whole lot. <laughs> All right. So let's see, what are they going to do? What's their energy? Where are they, what are they bringing your way this month? They want reconciliation and forgiveness and healing. Ooh, the 10 of swords and the eight of cups. Spirit upright or reverse the 10 of swords. The Eight of Cups. Yeah, they definitely want to come back. I mean, there's they might still be soul searching right now and still thinking heavily and, you know, not, not taking too much action. But the Emperor and the overall energy indicates that somebody is going to take action, but they want to come in. So you guys have definitely, there's that karma again with the Ten of Swords. When you're on these cycles with somebody, uh, the Ten of Swords it's painful, very painful when it comes to an end, but it's like a karmic loop. Like you might've gone through this 10 swords over and over again, a couple of times, a few different times with this person. Okay. You were going round and round, right? And it just finally ended, but they don't want it to be over. They intend to come back and try to fix this. Okay. And it's possible the sun is coming out in the uh, background there. Okay. And I feel like it's an ending. They want to end all this craziness, all the swords and try to they want to come back. Look, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. They definitely want to come back, Capricorn. That is for sure. They want to heal this, okay? Your advice. The Fool. More Aries. Ooh, in the Chariot. Cancer. Cancer. All right. Let's see. Upright or reverse, The Fool. 
and the chariot. Yeah, all right. So Capricorn, your advice is, yeah, I mean, I think kind of like be friendly. I'm hearing also with this page of Pentacles, you know, be be friendly, be cool, be chill, right? And uh, if they ask you out, you know, all right, yeah. Be ready to take that leap, okay? The full leap takes a leap of faith. This is a free-spirited energy, and they take that leap of faith. Okay, this is more Aries energy. So you have a lot of Aries here. So a lot of you probably are dealing with somebody with Aries in their chart. But here's that Cancer again, okay? So Spirit's saying, listen, this is not going to be necessarily an easy road, Capricorn. The chariot indicates a bumpy ride, okay? There are going to be obstacles to overcome with this person. But guess what? The chariot overcomes the ob obstacles. It's success. It's victory. Okay, you can do this. I'm hearing you can do this, Capricorn. This is balance, by the way, between light and shadow. All right, but yeah, you've got what it takes to overcome these obstacles, but just be aware that it's not going to be smooth sailing. Okay, at least not in May. All right. So <clears throat> that doesn't mean it's going to be terrible. It just means there's going to be some obstacles you guys have to work out, some stuff you have to work out, right? All right, so let's see this outcome. Drum roll. Oh, the world. Okay. See, that's a... Uh, it could be dealing with a fixed sign, which is Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius, but also it could be Capricorn for me because it's Saturnian energy. And ooh, the tower, you know what? Taurus also had that in their outcome as well. In reverse, let's see. Spirit, upright or reverse the world? And the tower? It's in reverse as well. So that's good. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a Taurus because I definitely am seeing similarities uh, in these readings. But um, yeah, I feel like you might have to wait a little bit longer. But this is finally this cycle that you've been on with this person is definitely finally going to come to a close. But also this is another card of distance. So I do feel like you guys are going to go the distance. I feel like there may be distance between you. Like you might actually have to drive a little bit or, you know, I don't any other way. I mean, I don't know how much distance, but you're going to have to maybe travel a little bit to, to see each other. Um, this is about completion. It's about, it's also another very heavy karma card as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm seeing it. Lo it looks good for me and rebuilding this tower is in reverse. For me, it's not about avoiding a disaster here. It's about rebuilding the foundation because in the past, it, you know, you had this two of pentacles. It was not stable. I mean, it was just a very unstable foundation, okay? And something, it got dropped. It all fell to shit, basically. And it's time to rebuild. And Spirit's saying, yeah. And I think you might have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, but, and like I said, it's going to be, there are obstacles. There are things to overcome. But you can do it. And I feel like it's going to happen. This is completion. This is, also, this can be uh, internet. You know, you guys kinda might have met on the internet. But this is in your outcome. It's like, you know, you're going to be doing a lot of, uh, texting and you know just like digital communication i guess all right so that was your reading capricorn i hope you enjoyed it if you want to know more follow me over to patreon i got lots more over there i got like let's see one two three four five oracle decks i'm going to be using and i'll be getting a lot more information here too as well okay so hope to see you over there if not Please stay safe, healthy, and sane this month of May, okay? And uh, hopefully all this will be behind us by the next time you hear from me in June. Can you believe it's already going to be June 2020? All right, so take care, Capricorn. Love you guys. Bye.